Hello friend. In this video we are going to see how the Kanis method is applied on the beam. So question is asked like this. Analyze the beam by using Kanis method. And this type of question is asked. As uh, while solving Kanis method, while applying Kanis method, we go step by step. So first step for solving this is the fixed end moment. That is the calculation of fixed end moment. First of all, you have to calculate all the fixed end moment. of this span for span ab as we know mfab is wl square by 12 that is w is nothing but the load intensity that is 10 into l square means length by 12 here we get the fixed end moment from a to b equals to minus 13.33 kN here mfba means the fixed end moment from b to a that is wl square by 12 That is 10 into 4 square by 12 equals to 13.33. Here is a negative sign and here is a positive. Because we take a sign convention that the clockwise sign, clockwise moment is a positive. Calculate the fixed end moment from E span. That is for span BC for the point load not acting at the center. As we know, the fixed end moment is P A B square by L square. And for fixed end moment from C to B is P. Positive B A square by L square. Here we directly get the fixed end moment from B to C is minus 14.4 kilonewton meter, and fixed end moment from C to B is 9.6 kilonewton meter. Here for the span CD, the point load act at the center, and we directly calculate that is minus L by 8. As we know the fixed end moment for the point load acting at the center, we calculate the fixed end moment from C to B is minus. 18.75 and fixed end moment from D to C is 18.75 kilonewton meter. Now moving towards the second step. Second step was the rotational factor. Rotational factor is nothing but the half, negative half of k by summation of k. As we know, how to calculate the distribution factor? K by summation of k is nothing but the distribution factor as we seen in our last videos. So it is directly if you Don't remember how to calculate the k and how to calculate the summation of k. Please see our last video. Hmm? Now directly moving towards our third step, that is the cycle. For calculating the rotational contribution from the ends, we have to do this step. So. Cycle number one. Here we have to calculate the rotational contribution. That is, we know m dash e b is u a b in bracket m f b plus summation of rotational contribution from far ends, and this is nothing but the settlement or uh, this is nothing but the settlement or any uh, loading is applied on the point load. So here uh, summation of M double dash of B A is zero because there will be no uh, settlement is given in the question at any of the support or any of the point. Uh, for the first cycle, let us assume that is the rotational contribution from C to B means from C to B is zero, and uh, from A to B that is uh, support A is fixed support that's why rotational contr uh, contribution from support A to B is zero. So This formula is modified as m dash of a b equals to u a b in bracket m f b plus in bracket. This is the summation of rotational contribution from far end. There will be the two summation that is rotational contribution from a to b plus rotational contribution from c to b. So this is the diagrammatically form for representing. the what we calculate that is fixed end moment and the rotational contribution that is here is the support a support b c and d here we represent the fixed end moment that is minus 13.33 is a fixed end moment from a to b it is 13.33 it is fixed end moment from b to c so similarly fixed end moment from b to c is represent here this is here this is here this is here These are the rotational factor. What we calculated minus zero point two eight 
जीरो पॉइंट टू एट जीरो पॉइंट टू एट माइनस वन पॉइंट नाइन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वन एंड दिस इज एम एफ आर दिस इज एम एफ आर दैट इज फिक्स एन मोमेंट एट बी एंड दिस इज फिक्स एन मोमेंट एट सी दैट इज दिस इज द समेशन ऑफ दिस टू माइनस थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री माइनस फोर्टीन पॉइंट वन फोर वी गेट द माइनस वन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन एंड सेम फॉर दिस माइनस सॉरी नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स माइनस एटीन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव इक्वल्स टू माइनस नाइन पॉइंट वन फाइव सो डायरेक्टली पुटिंग दिस वैल्यू इन दिस इक्वेशन दैट इज माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू एट इन ब्रैकेट एम एफ बी वॉट वी कैलकुलेटेड हियर दैट इज माइनस वन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन and the rotational contribution from far ends that is zero we assume so directly we get um, by putting this value in the cells that is 0.2299 just represent this value here now moving towards the rotational contribution from b to c in this that is formula as we know u a b c in bracket m f b plus summation of rotational contribution from far end here the far end is ab and cb and this is the rotational contribution from the far ends as directly we putting value that is qbc equals to minus 0.02 so ubc is minus 0.22 what we represent here and the mfb is minus 0 minus 1.07 and the rotational contribution we taken assuming here the 0 0 That's why by directly putting this value in the KLC, we get the rotational contribution from B to C. That is, rotational contribution from B to C is 0.235. Just represent this value here. Now moving towards joint C. As the formula, uh, similar formula is used for every end. That is, uh, rotational contribution from C to B. C to B is nothing but U C B in bracket M F C. Plus summation of rotation rotational contribution from the far ends. Here, uh, for the C, B, and D are the far ends, and this are this is nothing but the sum of the rotational stiffness. So here, rotational stiff uh, rotational contribution from D C equals to zero because support D is the fixed and it does not contribute anymore. So directly putting this value, direct U C B, direct minus zero point one nine, M F C. That is fixed in moment at C. What we calculated minus nine point one five by directly putting this value in the Kelsey, we get rotational contribution from C to B equals to one point nine six nine four. Just represent this value here. That is one point six nine four. It is just a procedure. Now moving towards. Contribution of M dash C D. It is U C D. This is the same formula is used um, for the every joint. Directly putting values minus 0.31. That is M F C is minus 9.15. M dash B C is 0.235. And by calculating this, we get the rotational contribution from C to D is 2.764. Now moving toward the second cycle. as second cycle is similar to the what we calculated earlier that is same formula used for every joint now here we get the new value for the rotational contribution from c to b just by last cycle that is 1.694 just replacing this value previous with what we calculated earlier I directly uh, put it in this equation We get the rotational contribution from B to A is minus 0.175. Similarly, calculated for the rotational contribution from B to C, and we calculated M dash B C equals to minus 0.137. And similarly, calculated for the joint C. Now moving towards cycle three and cycle four. Just do it when you got the difference between. When you got the difference between these values, that is minus 0.15 minus 0.15 difference between these values, 
is nearly equal to 0.002 so I'll cycle up to that, that much time now moving towards our last step that is the final moment final moment as we know in, uh, from our last video that is MAB is moment from A to B equals equal to MFAB plus twice the traditional contribution from the same end and the traditional contribution from far end plus this is the settlement as the settlement in this question is zero so um, this equation is reduced as MAB equals to MFAB plus twice M dash AB plus M dash BA. So uh, from the cycle we calculated that MFAB is nothing but a minus 31.33 degrees. It is a fixed moment from A to B. Rotational contribution from A to B is zero because the support E is fixed and the rotational contribution was calculated by using our cycles that is minus 0 0.195. By directly calculating this we gain the moment from A to B is minus 13.5. Similarly for the B to A that is calculation of moment from B to A it is MFBA fixed moment from A B to A and the rotational contribution from the same end means B and the rotational contribution from the far end that is AB that is we know MFAB is 13.33 plus 2 into minus 0 0.195 plus 0 that is rotational contribution from A to B is 0 by directly calculating this we get um, BA that is moment from B to A is 12.94 so similarly calculated for BC CD that is this is nothing but the movement from B to C this is nothing but movement from C to B and this is nothing but movement from C to D and this is the movement from D to C so just use using this similar formula we are able to calculate the all thank you